All right, so today we're on a 2004 Dolphin. It's a national product. They do build their motorhomes a lot like Winnebago, at least their roofs. And this phylon material, I don't know if you can see it. It's really quite loose. The closer you get over to the antenna, the more loose it gets. We'll take a look over there and then over there too. But what they do is they screwed this edge down. That's the biggest difference between a Winnebago and a national file on roof. Is that the, instead of getting tucked in, they get screwed in into the molding, just like a rubber roof. But this roof right here was leaking because of that vent. So I'm gonna be replacing this vent. That won't be too interesting. Now getting all cleaned up, it looks more likely they did not put screws in all the holes. But this thing's 16 years old, so that won't be too bad. I'll just put out some beetle tape down and screw it back down. You can see all over the top of it. But we have a different problem. Let's go take a look at it. So we got a turn up on striking again. Again, it's not really a turn up on's fault. It's just that it makes you feel like you fixed it if you just put a turn up on on it. But I don't know if you can see that entire molding loose. And this turn up on uh, doesn't stick. <laughs> So, the magic of turn of on didn't hold down the rubber, or the, uh, the trim. And now uh, it's all dirty underneath. So, we have to trim all of that off. Take the screws out, drill new holes, screw it all back down again, and then seal it down anyway. So, so he would have just done this right the first time we wouldn't have to redo the work over here is where the leak was and it doesn't look like they sealed this area very well I mean this trim although definitely a little loose right there all right looks like that's what we're gonna be doing all right so I'm just going to cut this lap off I think I'm gonna leave that side just fine because it stuck down really well and then probably take it all the way down on the entire length that way when I screw it down I just have to seal underneath and on this side I won't have to worry about this side because the turn up on well except for right there I guess it didn't hold very well but I can I can cut that out and seal that a little bit <laughs> but the turn of did st stick to here really well. And this is TPO, the membrane on top, so Dicor will stick to that. But, yeah, not a big fan of a turn on. Alright, so we can see that it didn't stick to there, but that's just because that's really loose. It did stick there pretty well. Just, oh, let's see. Well, like I said, it does make that nice channel, so the water does get trapped underneath there, all the way down. So, it's kind of hard to see, but the roof does sag a little bit. So I'm going to get all this tape off. I'll just be using a razor blade for that. Well, it looks like definitely water is getting all the way up to here, even though it didn't seem that loose there. So let me go ahead and get the rest of this taken up and we'll see how we'd look. All right, well this is a screw I pulled out. That's a drywall screw. That shouldn't be used uh, on the exterior of anything. So it's a little disconcerting. I mean, I can tighten it up. Drywall screws, they tend to break really easily. They definitely rust. They're not a good structural screw. So what I'll probably end up doing is pulling out the rest of these screws, cleaning up all this water that was obviously getting underneath. Put some sealant underneath right there. And then 
probably drill extra holes in between all these holes and double up the screws. What's your plan on this? But I really thought it was leaking there, but it wasn't leaking there very well. It was definitely leaking at that little hole where the cable clamp was. That one still might be leaking. I'll probably take that screw out too. But I guess one thing at a time. Well, I don't know, maybe it was a lot looser than I thought it was. Looks so. like I can just pop this up without even pulling the screws out. I shouldn't be able to do that. So, looks like I'm doing that all the way down. But yeah, if we look underneath here, it's pretty evident that we were getting lots of water under there. And let's see, that's, yeah, that's just a black beetle tape they used as the main seal. <laughs> I don't think that did too much. That Eternabond didn't hold up as much as I thought it would. So yeah, lots of water getting in there. Can you guys see anything? Try a flashlight. I don't know. It's dirty in there. All right, so let's see. These are the last few raw screws I took out here. So they're nice and rusty. Not like a Griswold, but all of them were. These are the factory ones. They're probably too short. And somebody did put longer screws in there, but obviously they were the wrong screws. So let me do what I was gonna do, clean underneath. I'll just be using silicone, silicone uh, as an adhesive sealant underneath this, and I'll put the screws back in, drill some new holes and put this all back together. All right, so I did have to cut all the uh, turnabon off that edge because when I seal this back down, I don't want the turnabon just to grab onto the, the edge of the tape and then peel off. I want it to uh, grab the molding itself. But I just have to clean underneath. Well, it's definitely the worst case scenario right here. I can put my hand in the roof through that hole where the antenna goes and I can feel where the actual structure of the roof is and it's right about here. That's why these screws aren't holding any because they're only into the deck. So it's not, there's no frame out there. So I'm gonna cut all this loose, <laughs> this over so that these screws actually go into the, the structure. But the good news is it means I probably don't have to drill holes in here. If that's any good news. Alright, well, sadly, this is not a very uncommon problem for these caps not to have been secured to actual structure in the, in the roof. So, I have to rethink everything I've been doing here. Pulled it all up. Now I have to uh, move this probably right about to there. So it's at least grabbing the roof structure underneath. So let me start probing and try to find some uh, structure I can screw into. Well, there's definitely structure there. So it looks like we're gonna be going into metal here. It's a tube metal, so I can't go all the way through both sides. So what I, and this front cap can't be dragged anywhere closer. So what I will have to do is put my adhesive seal underneath here. I'll put a couple screws to actually hold the cap down to this deck. 
And then when I put the molding on, I'm gonna overlap quite a bit right about to there. So that means I'm gonna have to make sure I seal all the holes that are gonna be exposed on the other side. All right, so in this setup, I'm going to be using uh, the silicone as a adhesive sealant. I'm going to put it underneath straight here, and then I'll use some butyl tape underneath the, the molding. I just know I won't be able to get butyl tape underneath the front cap there, so there's no real reason to do that. This will help glue the front cap on and seal it. Alright, so with that piece off, looks like it's probably been leaking there for a long time. So I'll put some more screws in and I'll clean off. Alright, so I got this half lined up before I uh, go ahead and seal it. It's easier to do before you seal just because drilling through sealant's a pain. It makes a big mess. So I'm using self-tapping screws and then we're going to put in these exterior grade, uh, I don't know what we'll call it, inch and a quarter square bits, Robertsons, if you will. And then the other side will be the exact same way. Okay, well, this is what we're going for. Just pull it out and seal it up and put it back down again. And then this front cap will finally be secured for the first time it was built, it was ever built. All right, well, there it is all installed now this is uh turned out to be a lot bigger job than i'd planned on doing today but i got the radius wrapped around those some really long screws actually grabbed onto something they weren't screwed into anything before either and same with over there so now i just have to get it back to where we started so put the dicor on over the top we're just going dicor on both scenes and the top of the screw heads and then put the uh, cover back on where the cables go through. Now it's not necessary, but I think it's best practice to fill that little reservoir on top where water's going to get stuck anyways with a little bit of sealant. That way the water won't pool right there. Alright, now we're up to the front. <laughs> <laughs> 